So Uncle Dieter, how do you know when an O-ring is working the way it's supposed to? This is a very important issue. At the Institute, we have extreme QC procedures to make sure that each and every O-ring comes out of the Institute in perfect working order. Come and see. Jody, now I want to show you something very special. For years, we've been trying at the Institute to come up with a green machine, something that would test the O-rings without the electricity. And I think I've stumbled on to quite the answer. May I present to you the Klappenstepper. Ah, the Klappenstepper. This baby is purrs like a kitten. She ran like a BMW and an Autobahn. The way this works is you step on like so, take the O-ring, set it on there, and then let your body be the power that moves the machine. Uncle Dieter, do you mind if I try? Of course you can, mein Liebchen. But you must be very careful this thing can buck like a mule and Jägermeister. Okay, well, it looks like your cars are ready about an hour. Great, thanks. Oh, Dad, what color are we gonna get? Sky blue. Yes. Say, you know, there is a customer viewing room if you wanna watch the car being painted. Oh, Dad, can we please? All right. Well, here you go. Ah, uh, cool. Oh, wow, that does look nice. All right, you guys have fun. Hey, excuse me. Yeah. Do you have a men's room around here I could use? Yeah, it's right down the hall, I'm sure. Honey, be right back. Okay, take your time. Now you see how fun the world of O-rings can be! Uncle Dieter, thank you so much for letting me come visit with you today. Ah, uh, you're welcome, my Liebchen. But you know, it's a shame. We wouldn't even need this whole Dunkoff uh, Institute and these silly white coats and this machine and the monkey machine if people would just buy their O-rings and fluid seals from RT Diagot, will you be assured of the proper 
QC and price every day. Thank you. Bye bye. Au revoir. Hasta luego. Bye bye.